three. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and people who are viewing this for the first time. My name is Richard Beer Compton, and I'm a member of the Poet Society based in London. However, I feel very humble that I can do not consider myself to be a poet in the true sense of the words. But, like a poet, I draw my inspiration from things around me, past, present and future. So talking of the past, I wanted to capture the ambience of the First World War, which was a series of skirmishes um, around and about the song. So I've called this a snapshot in time, 1914 to 1918, which seems very appropriate for 2014 will see the 100th anniversary of the start of the slaughter on the song. So without any further to do, please let me read to you a snapshot in time, 1914-1918. They slapped their boots with riding crops, these powerless men of war, and talked about the glory days when the cavalry worked the flanks. And now it's all machine guns and silly men in tanks. Yes, they're laying out the tables to put the dying on. Yes, they're laying out the tables for the slaughter on the song. Uniforms are fresh and bright and starched upon the day. All the better to help the blood wash away. And many maidens' hands are fresh from school and struck with soap, so not to break the golden rule but soft enough to hold a Tommy's hand and send them on their way, be it up or down or back to Blighty Town, a hero of the song. Yes, they're laying out the tables to put the dying on. Yes, they're laying out the tables for the slaughter on the song. Yes, they slapped their boots with riding crops, these powerless men of war, and talked about the shakers and the fakers and those who pray all day. We know just who they are, they're the shirkers and deserters and the conscious who throw their gun away. We'll send them back to Blighty and hang them one by one. Damn it, we can't do that, for Parliament will stop our little bit of fun. So we'll send them back to Blighty and hide them all away. Yes, the sickness of the song will give the game away. Yes, they're laying out the tables to put the dying on. Yes, they're laying out the tables for the slaughter on the song. They slap their boots with riding crops, these powerless men of war, and curse beneath their breath as they talk as to the air. We've searched our colonies both near and far and bled them one by one. We've got to have the bodies to push against the hum. Yes, they're laying out the tables to put the dying on. Yes, they're laying out the tables for the slaughter on the song. They slapped their boots with riding crops and talked about the politics of the slaughter on the Somme. To stop the Hun a marching to Paris in the spring and keep their armies busy whilst the Russians deal with revolution within. In this game of noughts and crosses that cannot be won, it's a war of attrition, our bloated bodies against theirs in the slaughter on the Somme. Yes, they're laying out the tables to put the dying on. Yes, they're laying out the tables for the slaughter on the song. They slapped their boots with riding crops, these powerless men of war, and thanked the gods of war for a hundred thousand doughboys, which we will call the Yanks, who could press into service to fill our depleted ranks. With pristine trenches and a brisk abrasive manner, under a star-stangled banner, with food by the ton, they've got the hunter running, and they haven't fired a gun. Their strategy is very simple, to starve them one by one and pay them back in spades for France and Belgium for the crimes the Kaiser's done. Yes, they're laying out the tables to put the dying on. Yes, they're laying out the tables for the slaughter on the song. They slapped their boots with riding crops, these powerless men of war, and talked about the glory days when the cavalry worked the flanks. And now it's all machine guns and silly men in tanks. They drove their tanks over pastures, lush and green. The enemy heard them coming like a banshee out of hell and ran from their trenches to ring the peacetime bell. The toys of war are once more put away and the armistice is signed. So if there is an epitaph for the slaughter on the song, 
as they're laying out the tables to put the dying on. They're laying out the tables for the slaughter on the song. A snapshot in time, 1914-1918. Richard Veer Compton, copyright, the 21st of the 9th, 2009. I do thank you for listening. I hope it stirred something in your heart. But there it is. That's life and death. God bless you all. Bye.